In the third quarter, featuring powerful running by Spec Sanders, the Yankees started a drive which culminated in a touchdown. Sanders bowling his way over tacklers was finally stopped by Motley on the Brown 31-yard line. Changing the emphasis to power, Sanders over good blocking by tackles Bruiser Kennard and Nate Johnson was stopped at the Brown 13. The Yankees failing on a pass play again call upon Sanders. Cutting sharply off tackles, Speck moved to the five-yard line. Two plays later, Sanders plunged for the score. And so in eight plays covering 40 yards, New York again took the lead in this championship game. Packers show off their ground straight once more as Taylor crashes into the end zone. Green Bay enjoys a 7-0 lead. Taylor is being called on to do most of the scoring with Paul Horning out from a first quarter injury. Green Bay's on top, 21-0. Finally, the Packers give the ball to Jim Taylor, who doesn't wait to be told where to go. His charge to the goal line results in another touchdown, and Green Bay can do no wrong. Jim Taylor finds a little daylight and wedges in for a TD. Jim Taylor smashes through the roadblocks to score for Green Bay. Jim Taylor, nearing the 1,000 mark in rushing yardage, walks the tightrope before cutting back at midfield. Jim may not be the fastest man on the field, but he leads the Bears on a Murray chase that goes for 51 yards to the Chicago 23. Jim Taylor takes the handoff and lands in pay dirt with his third touchdown. This is his last game as a rookie. Finally let him play, we were completely out of it, and Taylor ran over everybody. He gained 170 yards on his own with no blocking. Him. He killed people. He ran over them, around them. Lombardi came in and saw this performance, and immediately he was our fullback. This was his way to become known, you know. He would show you that he could run over a guy bigger than he was and punish you. you know, I'd rather punish him than punish me, you know. He started to grow up, and he started to become a star, and he liked it. He would do all of that running I and mean, all those grass drills. He was not breathing hard. He was just absolutely in perfect condition, and it was a test of courage to him. enjoyed football because of the competition and the combat and the uh, pain and the suffering. I'd probably do it, uh, do it the same way. Jimmy Taylor. season was even more prolific than his first. Over 1,600 yards gained and 19 touchdowns scored. Each one an Earl Campbell original. San Diego's on the scoreboard, and they used up considerable time, over eight minutes. And that's what it was, Giff, a stroll, stroll. into the end zone. Had that play well set up, didn't oh, it? Was good beautiful. blocking all the way. Good lead block. First to ten, San Diego. 
Munsey breaks the tackle. Look out. He'll go all the way easily. Goodbye. Oh, the big man has the speed. 73-yard touchdown. There are no flags. He broke two tackles at the line of scrimmage and was gone. Oh, we got a game tonight. Drop play. Munsey. Chargers, but it is Muncy. Pitch, Muncy. What's that, 17 for the year? Fullback John Riggins, plenty of room to run. Riggins has been named an honorary groundhog, but number 44 is more akin to a bull. And in 1983, the NFL was his personal china shop. Riggins' straightforward, no-nonsense running style is also a reflection of his unique personality. I've never been a, what do you call him, raw, raw type of guy and a cheerleader type of fellow. I, to me, it's business. I, I have a job to do and I go out and do it the best I can. And when, uh, when I'm not on the football field, I'm over on the bench. Almost 90% of the time down by the oxygen tanks. In his 12th season, the diesel still provided a breath of fresh air for the Redskin offense. The NFL's fifth all-time leading rusher scored a record 24 touchdowns in 83, but the big fullback does not want to be remembered for his statistics. Actually, if they were going to remember me by anything, I would like them to think that I always came to play on Sunday. I might do some goofy things during the week, but when Sunday rolls around and the ref blows a whistle, you can bet that I'll be playing. John Riggins epitomized the dominating power of the Redskins, for he, too, was a cut above. Second and ten with Urban wide left and Williams in the slot to the left and Emmett Smith's first carry of the season. Goodbye for the books, he's gone. Emmett Smith out in front, touchdown Dallas. playing on Sunday night, for some reason, he just starts to drool. You're over three, you go for it. Alexander to the goal line, touchdown! Carey, 
coming in. His long run of the season was 13 yards. Here he goes again. Touchdown, Seahawks. Right tackle going to the left. Shoot, they're just telling you. We got some big guys over there. We're going to run that way. Second and goal, Tomlinson. Tomlinson's in to match the record. LT time indeed. Tomlinson telling us team the records. Not into them at all. He has one track mind. Always looking ahead, not back. Considers himself a throwback player. And would like to think that he will stay with this one team his entire career and make it work. Oh, the ball is stripped. The ball is stripped, and it's Merriman with the force and the recovery. And you know what? We've got LT with a chance to make the record. I'm almost a little surprised that they do come back out here, Jim. You know, with the score the way it is, 41 to 20. Stirred to a frenzy, they want the record. Tomlinson, off the left side, Tomlinson sidestep. Hello, history books. 